Okay, so um, we're coming at you from the other side because we don't do games. Uh, we're just uh, marketeers, really. Actually, we're not even marketeers, in a double fraud. Uh, what we do is that we uh, provide this tool that enables brands to control their online presence. So objective is quite simple, uh, is to create this fairly powerful interface that um, lets a brand or, or a broadcaster communicate with hundreds of million people around the world on a personal level um, in a very easy way. So um, we have kind of four main pillars to am I sending you from the four, four main pillars to what we do. We have the uh, targeting section that works like a social CRM, send module that lets you broadcast across any channel, any type of account, the interaction model to uh, really engage with your target audience and finally the analytics bit. So where does gamification come in is that this is the kind of end process that you first need to engage your users in order to get them into the social CRM in the first place. So we worked on a few projects and I'll start with the really basic one. So we did this for um, one of um, the UK's most pristine uh, journals. Uh, and the idea was, of course, to put people into uh, the social CRM. So we created this um, fun and very quirky game um, that calls on you to uh, blast uh, plus the scene at uh, cows and your friends popping up in boxes. And each time you hit a friend, it sends them an invite on Facebook, and they come to the game, and then we have them in the social CRM. Uh, and then you can bring them. Um, so the next idea is to uh, obviously uh, create a bit of uh, competition. So we have the classic leaderboard. I'm repeating everything you say, and I feel even more like a fraud. So I'll maybe go to the next project. And also, I didn't prepare this very well, so I have a very limited amount of slides. So this is maybe the more uh, interesting project in the commercial side of things. So what we what we approached by. Um, a fairly well-known uh, startup called Unilever, and they have uh, 400 and so brands. And the idea was to help them open up to their audience, to break that mode of the Nestle um, horrible uh, uh, big corporation and really open up and gather ideas and um, also um, feedback on various products. So what we did is we created this hub, and I'm sorry I presented this uh, so badly that I don't actually have uh, any more graphics than this, so I'll try and explain it. Um, we have two, two main sections. The feedback section that's calling on uh, people to uh, come and give feedback in exchange for points. And uh, based on the amount of questions and the complexity of questions, uh, you'll get uh, uh, you know, more points. Um, if you invite friends, uh, you, you get uh, additional points. So it's all very straightforward and simple, but uh, actually very, very engaging. So it's a, it's a good way of opening up. Now the more interesting side of the project is what we call the live forums. And it's calling on people to select a specific brand and um, contribute ideas of their own. And the way we structure this forum is so that we can generate um, constructive collaboration rather than the usual forum where you just come along, put in an idea, people comment on that idea, and it's often bit of a, 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 a clash of opinions in between I agree, I don't, I, I don't agree. So we're creating uh, idea streams where you have a specific idea, people contributing to these ideas, and each idea bears two points, contributions bear two points, and you can only contribute to an idea if you agree with the idea, so we're kind of creating more of a, an intellectual process here, and then they're auto ranked up the list. So basically calling on people around the world, even though they don't know each other, to come together form a, a, an idea or each contribute to it, the more agrees this idea gets because it's got multiple agree points, uh, the more chances you have of, and this is the final part I forget, forgot, that's very important, is that you can, it's not a draw, actually really win prizes based on the amount of points you're going to generate. So something people can quantify. It's not uh, take part and maybe you'll win uh, a cruise to Birmingham, or we'll do a uh, bus ride to Birmingham. Um, it's more uh, creating a dynamic where you, where you actually uh, know where you're going and taking part in what then resulted. So, sorry, this is a bit more of, uh, stuff we're speaking can I have about. A question? Yeah, you can, of course. That would be very well, helpful for me. Because I'm kind of thinking, has this startup ever, <laughs> have they ever? Um, Uh, 
I actually used and them. implemented the, the feedback into the product. Absolutely, that's the point. So the, the idea being it's been to apply to two types of products, existing products, to ameliorate them, to bring out new uh, types, uh, like you said, you Lipton is part of the project, or uh, PG Tips in, in, in this specific example. They'll want to come out with a new range, and uh, it's a good way of doing R&D before or after bringing out this new range. So it's, it's a way of uh, you know having direct access to their target audience. And before systems like this, they'd go for the TNS type uh, R&D where you go for people, but in this case, people are actually generally coming forwards. So it's a bit of a, the, the results are, are a bit more genuine sometimes. Um, and of course, it's all down to uh, the, the, our systems for analyzing the data. Um, I'm struggling to get a handle on how people are actually using the combat and you perhaps drill down to a bit of detail and how much how can you suggest about PG tips or Yes, okay, so the, actually we're the taste of cherry, it's, it, it's a it's a very good question actually, because we 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 create the process, uh, but we don't create the prompt. And this is up to uh, the, the marketing company actually managing the suite. So we can provide them with very powerful tools, but if their prompt isn't good, well, you know, it won't go very far. So, so obviously it is up to, to, to uh, in this case, our customers to make sure that they engage their audience properly. How we will get that actually there. done it, though, because I can't get a handle. Uh, what are the prompts, what have they done? Th this, uh, this is a, a fairly ambitious project, and it's been going for uh, just under a year now, uh, and we're about to release it. So uh, I'm afraid I can't answer your question fully. But, but it's, I mean, it's, there are a lot of social kudos. So you are being ranked based on how you know how useful your writings are, and how well people like it, and how many comments you get. That's kind of, I guess, the, 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 so the gamification. Is there any distinction between like active innovation? As this idea didn't exist before, or um, oh, will make it a little bit more thick. Yeah, it's really, it's never really been applied in that context. The context is shortening the innovation cycle, but also extending the life cycle of products. And combining all that with a community that gives feedback about the products and, and, and you know, gives new ideas and all that, it, 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 it is a unique process. Is this an application that's for Ogle for you, or is this an application that's for you? Know, um, so, um, so that's for that, and the, uh, my off slide actually, um, so this is for the, um, the, 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 the actually making the world a better place rather than uh, selling tea bags to people side of things, and um, it's um, breaking the whole idea of um, and I apologize, Caroline. The whole idea of charity we have in the West, uh, I believe, has uh, actually, or, 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 or the guys behind this project, uh, done maybe recently more bad than good when it comes to white people saving black people in Africa. Um, and whereas um, charity should be applied locally and contextually, uh, you should be helping people you know about and involving the community around the project to break that idea of uh, just uh, giving and uh, really involving people. So what we're doing here is that rather than going around saying, uh, save these guys or save this species, what we're saying is, here's a problem and let's all try and answer this problem together. So it's starting the project from scratch, having identified the problem and enabling people through uh, online processes to come together, crowdsource ideas, and um, come up with solutions by creating tangible landmarks and um, points that can then be quantified and uh, uh, measured throughout the whole process to completion. And of course it involves uh, sourcing ideas, it involves on, uh, on the ground involvement, and it also in involves at a later stage actually making a donation based on what you've come up with. Um, I think that's all. Thanks, sir. I don't know if you need question answers because we had a while we went along, but any any questions?